So, karon nya kabuntago no, uh, nindot kayo ang ato ang topic and I'm praying that you will take down notes. Now, every time one hit as a church, ni anhita to really study. So, get your cell phone, go to your notes and then you just write or type uh, things nga imong makita ba nga dapat mo niya kong buhaton. And ako ang dasig sa matag family nga na adari, let us do a family devotional. Uh, out from our sermon, no? So we will give you an outline. Kung kabantay mo, gasen mig outline tago week, and pwede na to nagamiton as our family devotional, especially when you're imong mga anak kasabot na bitaw kanang uh, high school na or grade six na up kasabot na gina sila. So discuss, no? Listen to them what they learn from the sermon. And um, do a fam- family devotional, maskin once a week lang. And it will help you understand your children, and your children will be able to listen to you as well. And makasabot sa zila sa tua. So, ang sermon na akong gihimo karon is uh, very dear to me, and I wanted to make it a series. And my prayer is that makatabang siya tat sa tua to, to, fa- to fight and to win. So, our topic is start winning battles today. Amen? Start winning battles today. So in our lives, we face battles every day. Na ay gera taga adlaw. And we have to be determined to uh, fight and win. Dili lang mo fight para makasurvive. But to fight and win. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to 5. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4 to 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. Inasmuch as we refute arguments and theories and reasonings and every proud and lofty thing that sets itself off against the true knowledge of God, and we lead every thought and purpose away captive into obedience of Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are our teacher. We pray that you move mightily through your word. We pray that everyone who will be able to hear your word will listen and be able to understand. Have your way right now, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. As we have seen, nakita nato aning a text no na ato di ang weapons of warfare are not physical. So God has given us weapons. So kung gera ang ato ang giatubang, na atay weapon to fight that that war. And for many years, kung taod-taod na ka na Christian, and maskin pagdugay na ka nga believer ni Jesus Christ, pero feeling ni mo gidaog-daog ka sa yawa. Unsa man ang feeling nga gidaog-daog ka sa yawa? It is when you are in the cycle of depression, in the cycle of anxiety, you are in a cycle of doubt and bitterness in your heart. You are in a cycle of cycle siya, meaning you're not going up, but murag mag circle circle ang dagan sa mga kinabuhi ba magbalik balik siya. It's not, it's not up. So pasabot ana nga nakigera ka sa kaaway, but you are not winning, but rather losing the battle. Gusto na ko karon ni tudlo nga pwede ka mo daog o gidesign ka sa ginoo to win. In this passage, no, Apostle Paul tells us that we have weapons we need to overcome. Satan's strongholds. Strongholds is nagsugod ni siya. Kaning stronghold nga word? Meaning ani built ini sa imo, sukad gamay pa ka. Stronghold. Mura siya og, mura siya og walls nga nagsurround sa imo within. It's called a stronghold. Meaning, ikaw na sukad gamay pa ka hangtod karon, And it's you. It's in you. Pero dili siya godly, but rather it is demonic. Stronghold, demonic strongholds. Meaning, naakay mga gusto abton sa kinabuhi, but kanunay kabirahon. Because ani nga stronghold. Mura siya o gagunit sa imo para dili ka maabot sa unsay destiny ni mo. And each one of us naatay stronghold. Satan strongholds. In verse 5, kung atong basahon ng verse 5, sa ingon dea, we are to take this and refute weapons against, uh, we refute arguments, theories, and reasonings, and every proud and lofty thing. Ang kaaway, uh, naasyagay rason kanunay. Maayo kay na siya mo inject, 
or reasoning sa imong mind that most likely we are listening. Kanunay ta maminaw no sa gina-inject sa kaaway. Kanunay ta nga uh, uh, mamin Okay. So it's important to understand na ang kaaway di ay is kanunay siya maghatag og argument sa imo ah and tungod ana mo ingon siya mauni mauna and we believe and that's the very reason why during our fight kanunay ta mapilde kay ang kanunay man atong paminawon unsa may reasoning sa kaaway unsa may ginaingon niya nga ing ani ka ing ani ka di ni mo na kaya wala kay ayo you're a sinner ga may pagmuundang na lang kadiha kay maura gihapon balik-balik ra ka and uh, sagara maminaw ta ana so in this context we see no number one, that we are engaged in a war atong key text karon nag nagingon that one we are engaged in a war second we have an enemy who is satan and uh We can see here that the mind is a battlefield. Ingon ang Bible, we lead every thought in verse 5. We lead every thought. So imong mind, imong thoughts, diha magsugod ang tanang gera. Unsay naa sa imong hunahuna, diha dapat kanim, diha ka dapat mudaog or diha ka mapildi. Depende nimo. So your mind diha nagsugod ang battle. The battlefield is the mind. The devil works diligently to set up strongholds in our minds. So ang kaaway ka ila kay siya nimo. If you're not interested in knowing the enemy o kung sa iyang tactics, then definitely you will live life defeated. You have to know your enemy. Kinahanglan ka ila ka Unsay taktik sa imong kaaway because your enemy knows you so well. Kaila kaayo ang kaaway sa imo ah. Naa pa lang kasatian sa imong mama, iya na kang gistadi, hangtod na tawo ka. And sige siya paningkamo to steal to kill you. Naa pa lang kasatian. But by the grace of God you survive, you grow up. And now you have you learn to know Jesus Christ personally. No, it's the grace of God. But the enemy wala siya ni hunong og ila kung kinsa ka Unsay weak points ni mo, unsay areas nga pwede kanya i-target, wala siya ni hunong ana. And another thing that the enemy is very good at, wala siya nagdali. The enemy is in no hurry. He takes his time to work out his plans. There is one one character of the enemy or Satan and his cohorts, the demons, is patience. The enemy is very patient at you. Ikaw ra nang mubo og pasensya but ang kaawa he is very patient at you kung wala kaniya nadala when you were when you were young no today he is still very patient at you to destroy you naghulat ra gyud ang yawa para maguba ka and when you are not careful the more nga naa kay name the more nga naa kay na achieve mas the more nga kung iya akang matirahan kung iya akang maguba mas the more ang damage ana to the God nga imong giprofess. So see, hulaton ka sayawa to build your name. Hulaton ka sayawa nga, nga maka, makaserve ka ni Lord. That time na nag-serve na ka ni Lord, kung dili ka uh, mag, magbalantayon, magbinantayon, if you're not careful, then pag-build na ni mo sa imong name, gubaon ka sa kaaway. You will fall into temptation, you will sin, and what the enemy will do is mas dako og damage tungod kay nakabuild naman ka sa imo ang ngalan or sa pag-serve nimo ni Lord. So today you're a target of the devil. Siguro pananaw nimo kinsa ra man ko ordinaryo ra man ko. You know you're not ordinary. The moment ni ingon ka that you're a son of God. Now the enemy is setting up para kana siya nga confession, moabot ka sa point that you will deny. Dili nako, dili nako wa koy pakialam sa kung pagkakristohanon. Or maybe you will work so hard to build your name and money outside God. That's the very reason why daghan today na himo ng agnostic or na himo ng atheist. Because nagdaog ang kaaway sa pag-instill sa ilang mind that there is no God. 
why would a good God allow this very unfair situation? And tungod ana, na-convince sila anak nga reasoning that okay, there is no God. Pastor lang anong nadato manggapon kay sila. Pastor lang anong blessed, murag pananaw na to on the outside, blessed man sila. It's not, ang, ang blessed nga life is a life that is serving God. Money blessed nga life. Having money or being rich does not mean you are blessed. So nga nung dato manggapon kay sila, like for example in Europe or Japan or in Korea where people does not confess that there is a God of Isaac, Abraham, Abraham Isaac, and Jacob because makadato ang hard work exon. Principle na siya nga giset up sa kalibutan. Bahala pag wa kay ginoo kung gamay ra imong katulog, sige kag trabaho, labaw na, mag-establish yung negosyo, and grabe ka kagugihan, madato yung ka. It's a system that has been set up. And that's the very reason why Europe is very rich, even if ang ilang mga kasimbahanan are empty churches. Di na sila ga-acknowledge yung ginoo, pero padayon ilang pagkadato. Because padayon ang ilang ang pagkakugihan. Ang kakugihan, makadato. So that's the very reason why daghang kristuhanon pobre. Kay nagtuo man ta, nga pwede ra magampo. Tabangan rakos ginoo. Which is very wrong. Faith without works is dead. Kung dili ka mulihok igsoon, kristuhanon kang perting luuya, mamatay kang pobre, pati lungon, wala kay kabutangan. And that's just a very sad truth. Why? Because people think, nga sa langit bitaw, akong tumbanan, kuan man, gold. <laughs> no? So, tinood na, sa langit atong tumbanan, gold. Pero dari sa yuta, kinanglan juga na ipalit o bugas. Amen? So, Know your enemy to win the war. The principle that I want to teach you today is knowing your enemy. You have to learn the art of war. The moment dili na to ni siya malearn igsoon that there's war going on and I have to understand and I have to learn kinsa akong enemy, you will live a defeated life. Kung balik-balik na cycle na bitaw ang imong kinabuhi, ma-okay ka, balik na po ka dili ma-okay, and uh, ginaatake ka og depression, anxiety, and kakulangon, lack, lack, lack. And it seemed like the enemy is pushing you so hard away from God. Para muabot ka sa punto na, okay raman to mo ang classmate, oh, wala mga ito yung simba-simba. Perti namang datu aron. And that reasoning will convince you, nabitaw no, I want that life. I want that life nga ing ani, Maka-travel, daghag-kwarta, wa ganin na kailagin o wa ganin na simba-simba. And basically, lipay kay ang kaawaya na. Because He is the Lord of this world today. Siya ang naghari sa kalibutan today. And when you love the world, you love Satan. What the world offers? Riches, fame, travel probably, money. The world can give you that. But, Kung malayo ka sa ginoo because of that, no, kinsa may nalipay? Your enemy. So you have to learn to know kinsa imong enemy. Our key text says we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. In Ephesians, okay, second na to nga verse, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. We are not wrestling with flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the despotism, against the powers, against the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness. Against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural sphere. So the war that we are in right now, ang, ang, ginapa, ang reasoning sa kaaway sa imo ah, is that ang imo jung kontra is imong bana. Imong kontra, imong asawa, imong kontra, imong anak, kadili na maminaw, gahig ulo. Imo ang kontra, imong friend, imong kontra, imong katrabaho. Kay di gud mo pariha, lahi iyang principal. And then, grabe na ka imong heart, baka nang dili na ka okay because na ay mga tao nga mo clash sa imo a. Remember this, dili tao ang imong kontra. I really wanted you to understand that you're not wrestling against human beings. Dili siya ang imong kontra. Kinsa da imong kontra? Ang imong kontra is principalities. 
supernatural, spiritual, the demons nga nag-surround sa imua. And that's the very reason that when you understand that, you will be able to deal with the tao properly. Sakto imo ang pag-deal sa person tungod kay kabalo ka nga ang imong kontra dili siya. But the enemy working behind sa iyang kinabuhi. Kung masabta na nimo, you will be winning your battles. But the moment dili nimo na masabtan, mas mudaghan ang mga tao nga mahimo kang masuko sa ilaa. Because you think that these people are against you. Di ni siya kasabot na ako, lahi igyud ni siya, di igyud mi pariha. And, and you will lose people along the way. And the enemy is laughing because he is winning. The reasoning is yung gihatag sa imuag, kadaog siya. Nga naman, because you are inclining to the will of the devil. You are not wrestling against, against flesh and blood. So ing na imang tapa, dili ikaw akong kaaway. Ako mga anak magsigig ingon nga, I hate you. May pagdili ka na ako, brother. Anak, yun ang mga igsuo, no? Yung rapisad mo, oy. I hate you. May pagwala ka na tao. Da. Okay. Oo, the enemy is at work. No, the enemy is at work na good. No, so as, as young as they are, I have to teach them that your brother is not your enemy. Mwana din sila nga, ha, what? Mama, he is my enemy. Si Ingi, ang anik ko niya, mo niyang gibuhat. No, so listen siya itudlo sa bata. And so, uh, I'm sure, kung tigulang po tudluan, maglisod sa nga naman, kay, di good pastora, sa akong edad ka ron, naagyog ko eh, wala gipasaylo. <laughs> diba? Listen, dyan itudluan po ng idarana, no? Grabe kayang gibuhat sa ako. Nga ingon ang Bible, dili lagi siya yung kaaway. Nga ingon pagid ang Bible, kung imo na siyang gikonsider nga enemy, kanang tao ha, you love your enemy. Ang sa ingon ni Jesus, lagot ko niya pasara. So ang sa ingon ni Jesus, you love that person. You pray for that person. Another instruction, kung mamaylo siya, pabaylo ah. Rabiha no? Ayaw pag yung tilinga. Hoy, di na good na ko na kaya. <laughs> na tano? <laughs> Mo na giingon layo pagita sa tinuod. Amen? Mo to'y sakto nga kristohanon. Kita padulong pa lang ta dito. So, one truth is that the enemy wanted you to have destroyed relationships. The enemy wanted you nga dili ka malipayon within your marriage. You will think that your husband is your enemy, your wife is your enemy. Imong mga anak dili magpatuo ni mo and they are against you and the enemy the reasonings of the devil iya ang mga tactics mahimong magdaog sa imo ah because you think in the home you're not loved magthink ka ang pinaka basic nga formative years ni mo or mo form sa imong mindset imog yung pamilya and the moment mo daog ang pamilya in injecting reasoning sa imo na you're not loved, you're not enough sa family. So si ka nang uh, permanente lang masuko imong parents sa imo. So sige ka gakulang. And mo na ikaw wala kay ayo. And with that reasonings, no you will hate your mama and papa, you will hate your husband, your wife, and you will experience chaos sa relationship. Santa iya og patas anay, santa iya og desisyon, mo ni ako, bahala ka, di wa koy labot. And wala nay peace sa family that you are in. The enemy is now winning. The moment nga para nimo kontra nimo is tawo, the enemy is winning. Because unsay ingon sa Bible, you are not fighting against flesh and blood. The devil is a liar. Jesus uh, called him the father of lies. In John chapter 8, verse 42, Jesus called the devil the father of lies and of all that is false. Ang, ang maayo kay nga ginabuhat sa yawa is he lies to you and me. He is injecting lies sa mong head. He tells us things about ourselves, about other people, and about the circumstances that are not true. Ang yawa maayo siya mo inject o ing ani ni nga person against sa imo. 
It's a lie, pero you're believing it. So see, kini o, kini nga circumstances, wala oy, ipasagdan kas ginoo. Kung gihigugma pa kas ginoo, nga anong nahitabo man eh. Pait kayo, ingani kasakit. So the devil is so good at lying, and we are believing his lies. And because we are believing his lies, he is winning the battle. He begins warm, bombarding our mind, and little, ang, ang ginabuhat sa yawa is ginagmay. Mag-inject siya. That's the very reason why you have to understand that your mind is a battlefield. Your thoughts, kinahanglan siya captivated, captive imong thoughts to obey Christ. Bali, mo decide you ka, nga kadyot lang, unsa naman yung gadagan sa kong thoughts? O eh, kinahanglan ka aware. Nga mang dili ta makigera, Nga mang magpauraray ramanta sa depression, sa pain, sa hurts, magpauraray ramanta sa dili ko okay because dili takabalo unsaon sa pagera. We thought nga kana siya nga thinking kay ako ana. Abi nimo ing ana na juga magthink ba. Remember, gamay pa lang ka gibutangan na kag stronghold sa kaaway and you are embracing that this is me. But the truth is, it's the voice of the devil. It's not you. So you have to determine nga hunghung romang yun din sa yawa. No? Tanan, buhatan sa yawa o twist, lies para mahimong mamisirable mong kinabuhi. And the moment you will, you will be able to determine the voice of the devil, you will be winning your battles. Dira magsugod tanan. Understanding that the devil Iyang ginabuhat, ing ani, iyang pattern. Little nagging thoughts. Kapoy, ano yung samani? Ako na po. Grabe yung sama. Little thoughts like that, and you think nga, uh, ing ani nag yugo, basta kuan, mag-yaw-yaw yugo, mag-complain yugo. And the enemy is injecting that nagging thoughts. Sige ka, yaw-yaw ba? Saman nga no mani akong boss nga kuan mani un sa mani akong kauban nga kuan mani and the enemy is injecting that thoughts of sus uh, suspicions pagduda plastic ra gyud ni siya ah kuan ra gyud ni oh kanino nagnisingisi pero agu thoughts na gikan siya wa is not godly may lang gyud ni siya sa kung atubangan plastic gyud oh na no ya gikan din na siya wa Every time mag-think ka o suspicion sa usa ka tao, exoon is not godly. It's of the devil. Doubts. Every time nga mag-ampo ka, magtuyok-tuyok imong prayer, tungod kay sige kag doubt, pati sa imong prayer. On say ingon sa book of James, you will not receive because you are doubting. Magduha-duha ka, unsa man yun imong pangayuon. Aw, oh, kuan lang good Lord, bisagunsa lang. See, the very reason why we are not receiving, because we are not asking boldly. The very reason why we are in doubt always, because gina receive na to ang doubts. Example, na akay gusto mahitabo, na akay desire sa imong heart. Aw, oh, depende lang good kung mahitabo, maayo, kung dili. This attitude nga kung naa, maayo, kung wala, okay lang. Attitude na siya sa tao nga wala ka ila, unsay kaya buhaton sa yang ginoo. Kung wala ka kaila, kung unsa ka dako, unsa ka powerful, unsa ka milagroso imong Dios, ing ana imong prayer life. Kuan lang good Lord, ah, hala na. Puro doubts. Aw, oh, kuan lang good. Ah, depende. Ambot lagi yun siya kung gusto. Basta kay, gikapoy na ko. Hanto, di na ka mangayo, di na ka muampo. And now the enemy is winning. So doubts, fears, gina-inject niya ang fears. Di ni mo na kaya, dili ka dawaton, wala na kay chance. O si, palpak na sad ka, may pag-ayaw nag-try. Fear of rejection, fear of man, fear of failure, gina-inject na sa yawa. And that's the very reason why you will not attempt to do amazing things, because you fear. You fear, Mag maghadlo ka, mahadlo ka mag-fail, mahadlo ka for a lot of things. And that's the very reason why you're ordinary. Why di hara ka taman? Because mahatlok man ka. And now, kinsay nagdaog? The enemy. 
Because it's the will of God that you will be the head. It's the will of God that you will be blessed. It's the will of God na gikan sa pagkadagma, gikan sa failure, you will bounce back. Kabalo ang gino that you're weak. Kabalo ang gino nga makasala ka. Kabalo ang gino that you will fail in certain points of your life. But you have to understand kung say kaya buhaton sa mong gino. Last Sunday, I speak of the resurrection power of God. And when you understand that, you will be making that decision. I will not listen to these fears. Taghan kay gina-incheck ang yawa nga fears sa ato ah. Another nga gina-incheck niya, wanderings. Katuyok-tuyok, imong mind, bisag-asa mo ato. No? Bisag-asa mo ato. Mag-wonder imong mind. Dili siya focus, dili siya determined, nag-wondering imong mind. Mura kag nag-daydream kanunay. And it's the enemy. Because the moment imong mind mahimo siyang sharp, the moment imong mind mahimo siyang focus, you will do amazing things for the kingdom of God, for your family and for your life. Pero tungod kay dili focus si mong mind, wondering siya, then, nahimot ang mediocre and wala kay ma-accomplish niya amazing things. So see, and so on and so forth, the enemy is trying to inject, again, insecurities. The enemy is trying to target your weaknesses. Every time you will face someone and will tell, and will tell you na, anika, ing ani, ing ani, ing ana, and And uh, after a conversation, you feel so down. It's not the voice of God. It's the voice of the devil. Pointing your weaknesses and pointing your insecurities, uh, lifting up your insecurities and your fears. He knows what bothers us the most and he is willing to invest any amount of time to take and defeat us. One of the devil's strong points is patience. So sa imong mind today, kinahanglan day, ingon ang Ephesians chapter 6, ingon day atong key verse, verse 12, nga imong mind, kinahanglan ni mo siya, ikaw ang uh, ipasubmit ni mo imong mind sa Lordship ni Jesus Christ. Dili pwede na kung on sa'y hunghong sa yawa, mura kag way mabuhat ba? Mura kag helpless? Because you're not supposed to be helpless. You're not supposed to be Uh, listening to the voices of the devil because you are supposed to fight and win. So how to do that? We have to use weapons. So the weapons nga gusto na ko itudlo karon is the weapon of the word. The weapon of what? The word. If you abide in me, And my word abide in you. Uh, okay, lahi nga version akong ibasa. If you abide in my word, hold fast to my teachings and live in accordance with them, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. If you wanted to be free from the works of the devil, if you wanted to be free sa mga lay sa yawa, if you wanted to break free from the cycle nga balik-balik, because ang gera magsugod siya sa imong mind, and then mo give in ka sa temptation, and then you will sin. Sa mind siya tanan magsugod. And for us to win that battle in the mind is for us to use the weapon of the word. If you abide in my word, abiding means holding fast and living in. Meaning, wala lang ka na minaw, nagbasa, but imong gigunitan o imong gikinabuhi. What, what's, what's the missing link why many Christians are winning their battles and you are losing? Because taman rakasa hearing, you're not listening. Because listening means understanding the word and obeying it. The moment sige rakag pamina, for example, nga nung pila nakakatuig ng Christian, hangtod ka ron, pubri ka lang man gihapon. Wala ka nakapangutan na? Because kanunay raka makadungog, but wala yung ka naglisten. Kung naglisten ka, your life could be transformed. 
Kung dukay na ka nga Christian, pero miserably ka lang gihapon ka ayaw, you felt miserable inside. You are conflicted inside. Kanunay ka, dili okay. And dili ka ka so high sa imong Christian life. Because you hear the word, but you don't listen. Because listening is understanding the word and then obeying it. Mao de na shay abide in my word. The moment we don't abide in the word of God, we will lose our battle. Because the word of God is our ultimate we weapon. Ang pulong sa Dios igsuon, mao na shay mo renew sa imong mind. So kung ang gera na sa utok, kinahanglan daogon nimo ang gera pinaagi sa word of God sa imong mind. Isulod ni mo sa imong hunahuna ang pulong sa Dios, Because the word of God has the power and capacity to renew your mind. Baguho niya imong hunahuna. For example, one of the strongholds growing up imong nakita is that I'm not good enough. Um, I fear failure. Mahadlo ko mag-fail. Or mahadlo ko na mag-attempt kay basin palpak ragyapon, dili na ko kaya, so dili na lang ko kutob. Stronghold na siya. And for you to combat or destroy that stronghold is for you to understand who your God is. For you to understand that the Bible says you can do it because of the grace of God in your life. You have to understand that the Bible says I will never leave you nor forsake you. Uban ta, bisan asa ka pa ingon. And makag-build na sa imo confidence. Nga sa gusto na ko buhaton, dili man ay ako rausaha. My God is not against me. He is for me. And kung nakasabot ka that God, that your God is not against you, He is not even against you sa panahon nga makasala ka. Kabalo mo sa igiingon sa word of God? Nga nung mo renew siya sa imong mind? Because Ingon ang Bible, biyaan niya ang 99 para pangitaon ng isa. Every time makasala ka, every time magpalayo ka sa ginoo, pangitaon ka niya. He's never against you. Gusto niya nagukdun ka para mubalik ka sa iya. And when you understand that, marinyo imong mind. Nakajut lang, I have to win this. I have to rise up. Dili pwede na, dili na ko i-accomplish ang tawag ni Lord sa akong life. So the Word of God has the power to renew our mind. Our key text in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, no, basaho na tugbalik, it says here, and we lead, um, verse, verse 5, we read, in as much as we refute arguments and theories and reasonings and every proud and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God, and we lead every thought and purpose away captive into obedience to Christ. You have to um, read the word, study the word, and love the word para the word of God will retain in your thoughts and you will make your thought captive. So captivity, meaning imuha siyang, imuang ikuan, imuang thoughts ba? Ikaw mo in control sa imong thoughts. And then imo siyang ipa-obey ni Christ. So makadetermine ka og lie, makadetermine ka og voice sa enemy, makadetermine ka og voice sa imong self. So you will be listening to uh, three voices most of the time in one time. Munang mo anak ka, grabe, sakit naman kaya kung ulo. Or mabuang, siguro ko ane. Because you will come in a season, you will be facing seasons where you will be listening to three voices. The voice of the devil, your voice, and the voice of the Holy Spirit. And kinahanglan, makadetermine ka kung ako-ako ra ba ni, sa ginoo ba ni, or sa yawa ni. Okay? And, and uh, the Bible says, your knowledge of the word of God is a weapon. How will you be able to uh, listen to the word? On sa mga pamaagi, sa pagsimba o domingo, isa na siya sa pinaka um, daku kaayo o factor sa imong life when you listen to preaching, teaching, 
when you have a discipleship group where you could extract the word of God and yung himay-himayo ng word of God through the group, dako kay nag-factor sa imong life. And of course, by listening to YouTube or uh, Facebook, wherein the word of God is preached or teach, dako kay na siya kahimuan. Instead of lahi imong paminawon, intentionally study. Asa man ka nga area nga nag-struggle. For example, if you struggle with depression, listen to sermons on depression. Intentional. Mura siya, kabalok ka nga naakay issue, deal with it. Most of us, naatay issues, ato ang ginaunya na lang ni Uy, okay raman ko, kaya pa ni nako. Hangtod muabot ka sa point nga mag-total breakdown na ka. Kay wala ni mo gideal with as soon as possible ang dapat ni mo i-deal with. Because naagay pa maagi ang ginoo, pero unsay ginabuhat sa yawa. Ginapabisi ka ni ayo para dili ni mo matagaag panahon kung unsay dapat ni mo tagaag panahon. Instead nga mo, decide ka nga na ako struggle with uh, most sa mga lalaki na to karon or mga bata noon, struggle with porn. Dili pwede na pasagda na ni mo. Because if pasagda na ni mo, it will destroy you. So you have to deal with it. How to overcome porn. Unsay giingon sa word of God about sexuality. You have to understand it. The moment dili na ni mo i-understand sa imong mind, it will lead you astray. Makaburos ka, maburusan ka, maminyo ka sa dili pa panahon, or dili ka kaho magskwela. This, and ang pinakarut ana is porn. And the moment you don't fight your battle, you will be destroyed. You are blessed if inyong family is leading you. Tabangan jud ka para, para malid ka, mag-guide ka. Or na kay di group leader nga mutabang ni mo. Pero kung imu-imu on rana and naghilom-hilom ka and you're struggling, no one will help you. You have to tell someone that I'm struggling during the area. Because there is one thing no ako na learn sa Bible. Darkness will not have hold on you if it is put to light. Kung dili na siya secret, you are on your way to your freedom. Kung kanunay ni mo gitago ang usa ka sala, kanunay na mo gapos ni mo. But praise be to God, kung dili na na siya secret, kung mabulgar na na, gibul, gialaws ginoo mabulgar, or nakonsensya ka, misulti kang tinood, but that's very rare. Si Lord yun magbulgar sa gara. Amen? Kay pakamatian man yun ato, ato, ang, ato ang bakak, ato ang secret. No? Gusto ko mamatay, uban na nga secret. <laughs> di, li, di yun na to isulti. And the moment di ni mo na isulti, then it will have hold on you. Gunitan ka na. Gapuson ka na. Pero kung grasya sa ginoo mag-manifest in your life, mabulgar na, may balan, and wala na kay secret, you are on your way to freedom. So you need someone to tell you unsa una pag-overcome by unsa giingon sa word of God. It could be a friend who is knowledgeable with the word of God or ikaw mismo mabasa ka sa Bible every day. Mark chapter 4 verse 22 Jesus says the measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear will be the measure of virtue and knowledge that comes back to you Kung unsa ang imo ang pagtuon sa pulong sa Dios unsa imong dedication nga gihatag para niini mao sad nay mo balik sa imo ah Kung igo ra ka maminaw, and then baliwala, maminaw, then baliwala, matingala ka, naa ka sa simbahan, but because of religion. You are in this house, not because of religion. You are in this house for you to be a winner in life. You are in this house para matransform imong kinabuhi. Wala ka naa diri kay relihiyon. May diri kay kanunay na isnak. Wala ka naadiri para ana. Naakadiri para mausab ang imong kinabuhi. Kung pila nakakatuig naadiri niya mao karang gihapon, igso on there's something wrong. Meaning ana, igo ra ka naminaw, but wala yung ka nakasabot and wala ni mo giaplikar sa imong kinabuhi. The transformation of life is 
a proof that we are winning in life. We are winning battles. We must continue using the weapon of the word. Another weapon, another two weapons na gusto na ko i-teach today is the weapon of praise and the weapon of prayer. The weapon of praise and the weapon of prayer, praise and prayer is also correlated with the weapon of the word. Because there is power when we praise God. Ang, pag, ang kanang ginakanta nato nga mga worship songs are basically Bible-based. We are singing the word. That's why we. it is very powerful. It will change your mind. It's, example, gubot na kay mong mind and di ka okay, you worship God. Ayaw, sige, hilak. Pwede rin nang muhilak for a while. Bakod, worship. Ingnay mo ang tapad. Praise God. Dahil ka ang Diyos. Dili kay di ko okay. Dahil yun imong paminawon si Moira. No? Samot ka dili okay. Praise is a powerful weapon. Kung dili ka okay, your mind is struggling, listen to praising songs. Open your mouth and sing along. Because kanang mga praising songs, worship songs, are word of God put into songs. Mauna nga, mudaog ka sa imong gera because kabalo ka on saon paggamit ang imong weapons. And that is praise. Every time you choose to praise the Lord, you are defeating the devil in your mind. The enemy will tell you, you cannot stand up again. And now you are listening to a song that says, I can do all things through Christ. I am destined to do more. This is who I am. I'm a child of God. I'm a winner. I'm a victor. And the moment you listen to the song, you'll be lifted up. I remember no, this week, uh, there, there is something that happened. No, nakasaba na kong anak, si Gab. And nakasaban siya siyang papa. Siyempre, bagong abot iyang papa, nakita siyang papa, mga kinaiya sa mga bata, nga nagkadagko na. So nakasaban. And, and God really felt bad, no? Kay nakasaban siya siyang papa, and murag na paluan ba to siya or something. And you discipline siya siyang papa. You know the next thing God said? Uh, God did? He praised God. Uh, he sang that song, I am a friend of God. That's the song that uh, Pastor Keith uh, taught him how to do the beats, the drums. I told him, Gab, you will be you will be a drummer in the church, and uh, of course, tanang uh, instruments po ito nani mo anak. And uh, I am a friend of God is a song that he's so uh, kanang memorized niya ang beat and all and wordings, and he starts singing. Well, well, nagguan siya na igisugo yung papa siya ng buhaton sa house. And I am a friend of God, and he's singing that song. And I believe it lifted him that yes, I failed, nasayop ko, and you know, children would always want nga i-please ang parents, right? And every time ma-fail ka as anak, morag, down ka ikaw ba, kaya nga nung gibuat man ko ni, suko kayo, akong mama na ako, akong papa na ako. And now he's singing, I am a friend of God. And praise really will lift your spirit. No, every time masabta na ni mo igsoon, bahala pag dita pariha aning mga worship leader na to or backup na to nga maayog tingog, o syagit-syagit, good putas tong balay, sa tong CR, o may makadungog na to. Kanta-kanta po ta, bahala gyabag. No? So, praise. And another is prayer. It's important to understand that prayer is uh, very powerful. The moment you use prayer, praying the word, Unsa man ka mo ampo today? Lord gaiko, Lord gaiko, change that. Pray the word. Lord, you said. And Lord, I claim it. The moment matun animo to pray according to the word, your life will never be the same. Lord, ingun ka, mauni ako, tabangi ko, ga struggle ko ani Lord, unsaon ako ni give me wisdom. Lord, ingon ka. You said in your word. So meaning, the knowledgeable ka sa word of God. Unsaon man yung pag-ampo according to the word kung wa kay basa-basag Bible. Ing na imong tapad pag-basag Bible everyday. Nasa imong likod. Oh, naghilom-hilom. Katulgon na katulgon. 
Wala na nagbasag Bible na siguro. No? Sige na lang Netflix. Ansa na po'y bago? Sige, Instagram, TikTok, daghan na kay Ang kalibutan today, daghan na kay tagkabisihan. Ang tungod, Ana, ang Word of God, dili na nato ito priority. Amen? Pray according to the Word. The moment you pray according to the Word, ma-renew imong mind. The moment ma-renew imong mind, you will be winning your battles. Amen?